Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Advantages and Disadvantages of Diffusion. All right, so remember that diffusion is when you have one substance and it's going to spread throughout an entire container or another substance. So a couple of examples. One, let's say that we are making ourselves a delicious cup of tea because we're sick, like I am right now. And let's say that we're kind of wimps and we're not British and so we want that tea to be sugary. Well, if we add in some sugar cubes, uh, we don't want them to just sink to the bottom. We want them to completely diffuse. And so luckily, uh, sugar is soluble in tea, so all we have to do is wait or stir. And pretty soon, if pink is our sugar molecules, you won't have actual uh, solids anymore. The sugar will be completely diffused. And so this is when diffusion is good. Anytime you want your particle or molecule to completely spread out and uh, be, become a completely homogeneous uh, substance, like sugary water. But it's not always good, right? It really just depends on whether or not you want that thing to spread out. So let's say you're a person, which you probably are, uh, and you live in a town where there's a poison cloud and some gas got released, and as soon as that cloud touches you, you're gonna die. Well, you really don't want diffusion to happen. You want the cloud to stay completely separate from your breathing air. But as we all know, clouds and gas are going to diffuse pretty quickly, so eventually that poison will get to you. So, Advantages and disadvantages of diffusion really depend on what's diffusing and what environment you're in and whether or not diffusion would be good. There's no one strict answer. It completely depends. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is The Advantages and Disadvantages of Diffusion. Mm -hmm.